Hey designers, Ellie here. Today we're diving into a topic that is crucial for all you Clo 3D pattern makers out there, grading in Clo 3D. So buckle up because we're about to take your designs to the next level. Step one, open your pattern in Clo 3D. First things first, let's open up your design in Clo. Navigate to the pattern you want to grade and let's get ready to add in some size variations. Step two, locate the grading tab. Move over to the object browser on the right hand side of the screen and you'll find our hero tab of the day, the grading tab. Click on it and you are ready to roll. If you don't see it, you can extend your side panel by simply clicking and dragging here and then it is the tab with the icon that looks like a graded side front bodice pattern. Since we're focusing on the 2D window, let's click on 2D here, and let's also go ahead and close this panel so we have more room. That's much better. Step three, now it's time to define your size range. Clo 3D allows you to add sizes to your pattern easily. Simply click the add button here and we now have a size group. We can add sizes to this by clicking this plus sign here. Click several times to add however many sizes you want. Let's add four. Now we can change the size names by double clicking on the size name and typing in whatever you like. You can hit tab on the keyboard and it'll tab you over to the next size. That looks great. You can also change the name of the size group to whatever you like. Let's name the size range women's. Okay. Step four, let's assign your size range to your patterns. Okay, what I want you to do now is click on the transform pattern tool if it's not already selected. And with that, I want you to simply click and drag all the pieces on the workboard to select them. Now let's head back on over to the grading tab and click on this icon here to assign the size range we just made to the selected patterns. You might get a pop-up that says all Bezier curve points of all patterns will be changed to free curve points to grade the sizes properly and that's okay, we'll just click okay. Now depending on your base size, you might wanna reassign the base size now Simply click on the checkbox next to the correct base size on your pattern. Step five is adjusting your grading values. Now, here comes the fun part. First things first, let's make sure our grading is viewable by clicking on the icon from the toggle menu here. Okay, now let's head over to the 2D toolbar and click this icon here to edit the grade points. Now let's click on a grade point. I'm gonna zoom in here. Okay, great. So you'll see a table pops up in the side panel. Okay, let me show you how this table works because this is super important. The first table is set up for distance grading mode, which grades according to the absolute distance from the base size. The second table is set up for offset grading mode, which grades according to the distance between each size. Whichever you prefer is up to you. I love the offset grading table because I can easily input all the X or Y values at the same time. Let me show you how. Here where it says all, you see a value of zero for the X and Y axis. Let's click here and add a distance of 0.5. Now click enter. Now each size has a change of 0.5 per size. Notice that the distance grading table shows the absolute value from the base size. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my seam allowance here just to make it easier to see. Okay, that's much better. If you need to input different values, clo 3 d gives you the flexibility to fine tune your sizes with precision. We can increase the large X size value by clicking in the field and let's go ahead and change this to uh, 0.75. Notice that the next size up automatically compensated for the change we just made. It's now showing a value of 0.25 so that it didn't move. There's so many ways to grade in Clo 3D and one of the simplest ways I've found to do it 
is by grading by arrow key movements. It's so good. What you're going to do is you're going to come over here and just type in 0.125 um, if it's not already in there. And now let's click on this grade point here and I can simply change the grade with the key arrows. So clicking down on the keyboard, I automatically am able to grade in the Y axis 0.125 across all sizes at once. And I can do the same thing if I hit the side on the right arrow keyboard. And if I zoom in, you can see the side steps. We have a X value of 0.125 and a Y value of 0.125 as well. If I click again, you'll see it increase that to 0.25. So each time you arrow key, you increase that size step between each size. So that's one way of grading in Clo3D that's super fast and easy. And I really like this method. Pro tip, one thing you might wanna do is change the colors of the sizes. This is a great way for you to visually see and recognize the sizes fast. I really like to make sure I change the, the extra small to pink and extra large to purple because it just helps me see visually where the small size is and where the large size is. I only really focus on those two but do whatever works for you and what you like. Let me show you how this helps. So you can see here, if I accidentally grade in the wrong direction, the pink one is on the outside and it should be the other way around. So this is just a great way to visually see and make sure that your grading is going in the correct direction. Another thing I like to do is select the point and then right click and I get an extra menu here I can copy the grading from one point and I can click on another point, right click again, and paste. I can paste the X and Y values here and you can see Control V is a hot key for that. So if I click on that, you see that's not the right way. So we want to actually mirror paste. So we will mirror paste X and Y and you see now it's reflected. It looks great. The pink is on the inside. We're good. Another thing you might want to do with copying and pasting grades is you might want to copy only the X values. So if I copy just the X values, I can click on this point down at the bottom. And now instead of control V to paste, we want to do control shift X and you will paste only the X values. You can also paste the X values reflected it's control alt x and control alt y so if i control c up here and control alt x it's going to paste those x values only but reflected if you do a ton of grading you really want to keep these shortcuts handy because you can go around the pattern and get your pattern graded in no time okay so that's all i'm going to cover for now um, in order to keep this video short but i will follow up with more things you can do in clo 3d regarding grading Okay, so I'll see you in the next one, and don't forget to check out Digitech Design for more resources on Clo3D. See you next time. Okay, now it's really thinking a lot, and that's freaking me out because it's probably going to crash. Please don't crash. Don't do it. Undo that because I don't know what the hell it just did. Nope, 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 nope. No.